Hey guys, we'll be reading Reindeer on the Move by Ginger L. Clark. Can reindeers really fly? No, not without Santa's magic. But they can run so fast that they look like they are flying across the snow. Zoom! This herd of reindeer gallops up to 50 miles per hour, as fast as a car. They stir up a giant cloud of dust, and they make a lot of noise. What is all the fuss about? And where are they going in such a hurry? It is fall in the Arctic. The reindeers are migrating or moving from one place to another before winter comes. They are always on the move to find tasty plants to eat. Some reindeer travel thousands of miles every year, farther than any other land mammal. A group of migrating reindeer can be small or huge. Rumble, rumble. Thousands of running reindeer shake the ground. It feels like an earthquake when they go by. Reindeer have to work hard to find food in their frozen home. They live on the land all around the North Pole, called the Arctic Tundra. This includes the most northern parts of North America, Europe, and Russia. North American reindeers are a little bigger than European ones and are called caribou, say caribou. They roam all over Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. Both type of reindeers have awesome antlers. Male reindeer have antlers about 4 feet long, weighing more than 30 pounds. That is about the size of an average toddler. The ants are slender with branches at the top like a tree. The males also have a short, shovel-shaped antler sticking out of their forehead. Reindeer are the only type of deer where the females have antlers too. A female's antlers are about half as big as a male's. Both male and female reindeer use their antlers to fight over who gets to eat in the best feeding spots. But the males, called bulls, also use them to battle over the females, called cows. Crash! Two bulls smash their massive antlers together. They dig their hooves into the ground and try to push each other over. The winner is usually the bull with the largest antlers. He also becomes the leader of the herd. Snort. The big bull calls to the cows in the herd. He puffs out a furry pouch on his throat to make his call louder. His large antlers show the cows that he is healthy and good at finding the best plants to eat. Reindeer usually mate in September while they are migrating south for the winter. Then, the bulls shed their antlers after mating. They grow a new, larger set every year. Cows keep their antlers until spring after they give birth to their babies, called calves. In winter, the Arctic tundra is covered in deep snow. Now, reindeer do not look for food, they sniff for it. This reindeer smells something under the snow. Scratch. She uses her sharp hooves to uncover some reindeer moss. Reindeer eat leaves, berries, and grasses during the rest of the year. But reindeer moss, also called caribou lichen, is almost the only food that survives in the extreme winter cold. It grows where no other plants can. Reindeer are one of very few animals that eat it. The moss even look like tiny reindeer antlers. Just like their food, reindeer can survive the cold. Their thick fur has double layers to keep them warm and dry, even in a blizzard. Their wide, two-toed hooves act like snowshoes to keep them from sinking in the deep snow. Reindeer's noses work like heaters to warm the freezing air before it goes into their lungs. Fun fact, reindeer have a lot of blood vessels in their nose that sometimes make them look rosy. So that may be how the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer got started. In April, the weather slowly starts to get warmer. The reindeer are ready to move north again. They migrate in a long line. The older cows lead the way. Splash! The reindeer jump into an icy, rushing river. They paddle against the current with their big hooves. The hollow hairs in their fur trap air and help them float. After they cross the river, they keep running through the snow and over mountains. The reindeer stop for a snack, but they have to watch out for danger. 
Arctic wolves will follow reindeer for hundreds of miles in search of a meal. One cow senses that the wolves are getting closer. Huff, puff, she snorts and paws at the snow to tell the wolf to back off. Jump, she rears up on her back legs and gives off a scent from her ankles. This smell lets the other reindeer know that danger is nearby. Suddenly, the wolves pounce. Whoosh! The reindeer take off running. They move together like a school of fish. The wolves back off. They do not dare come too close. One kick from a reindeer could break a wolf's bones. The reindeer are so fast that they outrun the wolves. The wolf pack gives up, but they will be back. They follow the herd slowly, waiting for a sick, tired, or young reindeer to fall behind. The herd travels for weeks and leaves the wolves far behind. The tired reindeer can finally rest. They have found a quiet spot to settle down where the tundra meets the Arctic Ocean. Finally, it is spring. The mother cows are ready to have their babies. Many of them already have one year old reindeer called yearlings. These yearlings will have to find their own food after the new babies are born. But for now, the herd rests together. One cow quickly gives birth to her small, slippery calf. The calf has patchy fur and short, stubby antlers. The mother nods her head at the calf, telling it to follow her. The calf stands up and wobbles. It is able to walk in just a few minutes. By the end of the day, it can run in circles. It is already faster than a wolf. All the mother cows give birth within a few days. Whee! The calves leap and play together for exercise. Even the mothers jump with joy. The cows drink their mother's rich milk so they can grow. The little calves need to be strong and they must stick close to their mothers. Many dangers lie ahead. Grunt, one mother calls to her calf. Bleat, the calf answers back. They practice calling so they will recognize each other in the herd. Soon, they will be on the move again. Now it is summer in the Arctic. The days are warm and long. Because the sun never sets, and the reindeers never stop moving, except for very short rest breaks. The bulls have joined the cows and calves. All of the bulls' antlers have grown larger. They are covered in a soft coating called velvet that helps the antlers grow quickly. Rub, scrub. The bulls scrape off the velvet by rubbing against trees. Their antlers are ready for another fall fighting season. The herd is noisy. The cows and calves grunt to each other. All the reindeer rip and chew their food, and the reindeer's ankles make popping sounds while they walk. Click, clack. This odd sound may help the herd stay together. But wait, they hear another noise. A group of creatures is following the herd. This time, it is something tiny and annoying. Buzz, buzz. The mosquitoes are coming. The tundra is filled with small ponds and lakes after the snow melts. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in the water. The eggs hatch at all once as the temperature rises. Billions of mosquitoes swarm everywhere, forming big black clouds. These annoying bugs bite the reindeer. Together, they can suck a whole cup of blood from a reindeer in just one day. Surprisingly, more mosquitoes fly around the tundra in summer than anywhere else in the world. Yikes. Biting bugs are one reason why reindeer move constantly. They are looking for a cooler, breathier place with fewer mosquitoes. The reindeer also wander around to eat as much food as they can. Crunch, munch. They nibble on grasses, shrubs, and leaves. One reindeer has to eat about 15 pounds of food per day to survive. That is like if you ate 60 quarter pound burgers in a day. The reindeer eat a lot, but they are also trying to keep from being eaten. Besides mosquitoes, black flies, bot flies, and warble flies all attack the reindeer. They even get in the reindeer's noses and eyes and dig into their skin. Yuck. 
Sometimes the ranger go a little crazy from all this biting. Stampede! The reindeer dash away as fast as they can to try to outrun the pesky insects. They head for the mountains to the south. Some reindeer cannot keep up with the fast pace. Older reindeer often get left behind. Many Arctic animals, including grizzly and polar bear, eagles, foxes, and wolverines, prey on weak or dead reindeer. Chomp. A wolverine eats a dead reindeer. Its strong jaws can even break bones. Some eagles will also eat reindeer antlers and bones. And mice use a leftover fur to line their nests. Nothing goes to waste in the Arctic. People living in the Arctic also depend on the reindeer to survive in this harsh place. Native people have hunted and herded reindeer for many thousands of years. They use the reindeer for meat and milk. They make clothing, tents, and bedding from reindeer skins, and they turn reindeer bones and antlers into knives, tools, and fish hooks. The native people of the Arctic use every part of the reindeer they hunt. Native people also use reindeer for travel long ago. Reindeer really can pull sleigh, just like in the story of Santa and his reindeer team delivering toys on Christmas Eve. But reindeer herders only. Used one or two reindeers to pull their sleds. A pair of bull reindeers are so strong that they can pull loads of about 500 pounds for up to 40 miles per day. Today, many people living in the Arctic use snowmobiles for transportation instead of reindeer. The temperature drops suddenly in September. Snow starts to fall fast. The reindeer head farther south in smaller groups. Winter is coming again, but the reindeers are ready, and on the move. The end. Thanks for listening.